Hello there champs and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Koko Tomuluzi. Thank you so much for stopping by. On this channel we talk about the different kinds of opportunities that there are out there. Online opportunities, local opportunities and international opportunities. So if you're somebody that is interested in that kind of content, please do subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I do drop a video. So in today's uh, video, I shall be sharing with you guys 24 money making ideas that you can try out in 2024. So I'm not going to waste any of your time. Let's get straight into today's video. The first money making idea is to start a YouTube channel. And I think it's only fair to start off with this one because I'm already using their platform. So I might as well start off by promoting it. Guys, it's no secret these days that a lot of people are making a full time and a part time income off of YouTube but either way there is a lot of money and unlimited money to be made off of YouTube all you have to do is to just get started there are so many tutorials here on YouTube that teach you how to start a YouTube channel teach you how to monetize a YouTube channel and just give you like the step-to-step -step guide on how to start a YouTube channel so I don't think that anybody has an excuse as long as you have a mobile phone you can start a YouTube channel number two is to buy an inflatable pool and charge kids to swim in it or to buy a trampoline and charge kids to jump on it what i like about the, tra the trampoline is that it's evergreen so it's not only for summer you can like throughout the whole year you can use the trampoline and what i like about the pool is that especially if you're living in areas where there is no pool this can be really hard because i mean guys which child doesn't want to swim and to pay that side hustle as well you can sell ice cream like when the kids come to your yard to or, or, or come to your trampoline to to come jump you can charge you can sell extra things on the side such as ice cream and sweets and etc so that one has got kind of like uh, unlimited kind of potential you're just gonna have to like be really creative um when doing this one Number three is to buy ballpoint pens and then sell them outside of a school gate. Now this side hustle um, I saw and I experienced it when I used to work as a teacher assistant. There used to be this woman that used to stand outside of the gate and sell sweets and pens and pencils. And what I used to notice is that she would have a box of about like 100 pens there, right? And literally before the end of the day, about a majority of the box would be sold out, right? And that's because pay kids are always losing their pens like uh like nobody's business like a child can literally buy a pen every single day right so you can go and buy the pens uh, from a wholesaler and you can charge three rand or four rand for a pen the fourth money making idea is to become a fine fragrance agent or distributor and this one has become really popular these days because i'm also um forever seeing the adverts uh, and it always says buy for 30 rand and sell for 60 rand meaning with this side hustle you can literally double um your your money right and these are the particular perfumes that you are going to be selling i myself sell these particular perfumes i am going to be doing a whole video where i talk about how can you become a fine fragrance agent or a distributor in three easy steps guys so watch out for that video and if you're interested in that video please do click on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever i do drop that video Number five is to stock Crocs and sell them. Now, Crocs have become really popular these days. And these days, they have even started to add detailing onto them, right? And these days, that's actually my only reason for buying Crocs or for buying my son Crocs is because you can actually custom make the Crocs, right? And there's this particular lady that I know that sells them and you can literally have your name on it and have these really cute detailing on them. And you can stock your very own ones at wholesalers such as Maraba Stads or places that buy that had had that sell wholesale things and they also sell those very small detailings there as well so i see a lot of people are making quite a lot of money out of that as well so don't sleep on that number six is to become a party mascot for kids party and what i mean by party mascot is that this one i actually got off when i was looking on tiktok right and there was this lady who had a birthday party for uh, the sun and they had spider-man as a guest there right and that's actually just an ordinary guy who dressed up as spider-man right and you can do the very same thing if you're not somebody that is like shy and stuff you can literally go um, to any costume shop and buy the costume of spider-man or any other character cinderella 
uh, Coco Melon, any popular like um, cartoon character that kids really like, you can go do that and you can like literally guys charge quite um, a decent amount for that, right? Because myself, I myself am a parent and I would definitely hire out that service if I had my son's uh, birthday party. Number seven is to sell educational learning material for kids, right? And this you can sell as a digital product or as a physical product. And these days, parents were willing to invest a lot of money and pay uh, a, a decent amount of money to buy our kids learning material that are going that is going to help them make their learning experience easier. And this you can learn off of YouTube. There are tutorials here that teach you how to make digital products and how to um, how to actually create physical learning materials on uh, platforms such as Canva that you can actually do for free. So guys, use YouTube literally as your university and as your learning platform. These things you can actually learn for free, literally guys. So guys, don't sleep on YouTube and learning things off of YouTube. The eighth money making idea is to wash people's sneakers. Now, if you're one of those people that have got a really good reputation for getting compliments about how clean your sneakers are, then I would recommend this side hustle for you. Uh, I'm one of those people that cannot wash my sneakers and my tackies for, for 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 days. You know, I just put it like you look like like I'm team, you know, and just wash and jay. And apparently that's not how you meant to do it, you know. So I know that there are a lot of people who I'd be looking at their sneakers and be like, oh my gosh, like yo, your sneakers be looking dapper, you know. And they're like, yeah, you, you do this and this and this and this. But when I do it, it doesn't come out the same way. So if you're one of those people, guys, offer that service, charge people for that particular service. People take buying sneakers uh, very seriously because sneakers are quite expensive and we, you're not willing to like buy sneakers over and over and over so we do invest a lot of money into taking care and maintaining our sneakers number nine is to sell digital products there are so many um tutorials here on youtube that talk about uh selling digital products on platforms such as etsy and like it has become really popular and has made a lot of people millionaires both uh locally and internationally number 10 is to sell lunchbox hampers this one is always like literally like trending on uh, trending on tiktok and it seems that people are taking this one um to to, to mind you know so i don't know whether you always see like these uh people on tiktok that pack like the box like they show the box and then they pack like the juices and the chirps and the biscuits and the um, the chocolates and then charge and just put their markup on that you know that has become really popular these days and if that if that service is not popular in your area um i would definitely advise you to not miss out on that money making idea and there are also places such as escorts that have got and package um like hampers where it's got like poloni liver spread uh cheese and just like lunch things to make like a skaftini savannah you know to make the lunch boxes for the kids in there right and you can just basically buy it already packaged like that right all you just have to do is to just buy it like that and then literally like put your markup and sell it and this is a side hustle that i have uh partaked in in the past and it is quite profitable when done properly the 11th money making idea is to teach english online guys people are making a lot of money from teaching english online and um there are a lot of popular videos of people saying that they make uh, 2.5 uh, uh, per week uh, plus more you know and it is very possible to do so um because i myself have partaked in the side hustle and still teaching english online so i know that there is money to be made off of it right so don't sleep on the potential of making uh, money by teaching english online guys um i am going to drop a video that talks about making money um, as an ESL teacher and also some companies that you can apply to so please guys uh, don't miss out on that video Not, uh, turn on your notification bell and subscribe so that, you, so that you don't miss out on that particular video number 12 is to start a delivery service with companies such as uber uber eats 
and Mr. D delivery. And this will never like like has uh, uh, go out of fashion and it has become something that is really popular. And this is literally like if you've got a car, the quickest way that you can start making money because you can like do it like now. You can literally like sign up on their website now. And it doesn't take that long for them to give you a response. So if you've got a car, guys, don't sleep on this opportunity because you can literally do it when you're going from one point to another point. You don't have to like completely go out of your way like to, to do this one particular side hustle. I know of a lady where whenever she does her, her Uber her Uber things is when she's going to go run her general um errands. So it's just like it's a win win kind of situation for her. Number 13 is to start a photography and videography business. Now, this one has become really popular because of the drone. And I'm one person that really loves pictures, like drone uh, pictures. And I am definitely going to be hiring um, a, a drone photographer and a videographer whenever I have a party or a funeral and my wedding one day. I'm manifesting you know <laughs> so these are definitely the services that I would want guys and it's a very important job because you you're in charge of capturing people's moments and those are the things that we take very seriously these days so if you're somebody that has got really good skills and just enjoy taking photos don't sleep on the idea of buying a drone especially buying a drone because that one has become really popular these days and taking really good drone pictures you know guys and videos so hey check that out number 14 is to sell your school notes on stuvia now if you are a psychology student a law student um a bachelor in education student right these are like really like general courses that we do um as people and a lot of people are willing to buy notes from especially if you're a really good student and you take really good notes and uh, people are really are honestly willing to buy people's assessments and notes you know uh, because it's going to obviously help them study and people are making uh, thousands and thousands and thousands out there just from selling their school notes so if you're somebody that is a really good student um don't sleep on this guys because i know you're already giving them out for free the 15th money making idea I got off of TikTok. Now, there are these particular ladies and they are from Durban, right? And one of them is like really thick and the other one is like really um, skinny. And they're always trying on dresses like in the dressing room, right? And, you know, like looking and then showing you like the dress and how the dress looks on them, you know? And then, you know, um, they be like showing you the price of the dress, right? And... You can make money, guys, off of being a personal shopper, doing basically what those ladies do. So they go to a wholesaler, right, and they try on these different dresses, right? Because as people, we like to buy things when we see them on other people, okay? So if I'm a thick lady and um, I see another thick lady wearing a particular dress that looks like this, I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks snazzy on her, you know? If I buy the very same dress, um, you know, it's going to suit me as well, you know. So um, that, to become a personal shopper uh, is something that is like really, really, really simple. All you have to do is you just go to the actual shop, try on the dresses, take the pictures of you wearing that particular uh, item, either put it on Instagram or pr promote it on TikTok. TikTok is a very good platform, guys. And, and it's a platform that doesn't take long for you to gain followers on that on there. Um, and just put up your markup on that and you send it to your customers via uh, pip um uh, so yeah you just have to find out how much you how much is the courier price to send it to your customer so number 16 is to make and sell ginger beer right now i'm a very typical donna girl whenever i go to my funerals to my parties uh to my weddings i always look forward to drinking ginger beer because i cannot make it like at home obviously now there's this lady that always makes our ginger beer at home and she does a really good job and I don't know what she puts in her ginger beer, right? But it's really different from the store-bought ginger beer. And if you're somebody that has got unique recipes, not just only like ginger beer, things like jam and that kind of stuff, and, um, and you feel like you're really good at that, um, do that and sell it at markets. Because that's another reason why to, I always go to the farmer's market to go look for these really unique recipes. And sometimes I really like to buy like 
um, like jam from the market because it's like really different obviously from the store bought one so the 17th side hustle that you can try out right is something that I observed when I went like um, a friend invited me to church one day and after church there was this lady uh, with like and she was standing there with her daughter and they were selling jelly and custard and it seems that this is a very um, like religious thing they always do this all the time right because everybody would dry like everybody ran there to go buy the jelly and custard because obviously it runs out really quickly and I tasted the jelly and custard guys ne? and I could see why something that I felt like I mean are people like running for jelly and custard like J and I tasted it and I was like oh, okay now I see why right and something like really simple as that can bring you quite a lot of money now when I was like um like looking at how many of them they had made right i think they are about 60 in total and they were selling 15 rand per cup okay so that is quite a lot of money that you can make out of something as simple as that the 18th money making idea that you can try out is to grow veggies and sell them. Now this one is inspired by somebody that is called the Spanish Queen and a little bit about her story. She is from uh, Cape Town and she started her business or her side hustle when during lockdown right or after lockdown and she just started by planting uh, spinach in the back of her garden and she like started to make money from there right and ever since then she now has like um her own little mini spinach empire where she just uh she sells spinach to the different kinds of shops right so if you're somebody that is passionate about garden or um like has got seeds right and has got space to plant uh you can do that as well Number 19 is to use money weight making websites such as Livingston Research, Rev and Study Pool to make some money. There's a lot of people that are making full-time incomes off of making money online, including doing things such as being transcriptionists, right? And if you're somebody that doesn't have any knowledge of it, use YouTube as a platform to learn those skills. And you can just simply, for example, Google how to become a transcriptionist. And it's as easy as that. Just like anything else, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. You have to learn some kind of skill and add some kind of value in order for you to see results. Number 20 is to make your own cocktails and sell them. So basically, you're going to be like a mini bartender and you can offer these service like um, at weddings and parties and basically just kind of like having your own private bar. Like, um, especially if you're somebody that is really good at mixing cocktails and stuff. Um, I'm somebody that I definitely would pay for a service like that. Um, and would seek for a service like that. So if you're somebody that is really good and knows your alcohol and you're really good at that and um, I mean, what's a good party without alcohol? Number 21 is to sell your eggs. Now, this is a very controversial one, right? Uh, because I don't really want to even put it um, under money-making ideas, but it is a way to make money so I am going to put it on here if you would like me to make a whole video on this particular um, like topic uh, you're welcome to comment down in the comment section down below uh, and I'll do so right so basically there are companies out there and mainly these are like for, uh, fertility uh, clinics or places that are associated with fertility clinics that pay women to sell their eggs as there are some women out there that can produce eggs and I see it as an act of kindness and more like something that like I would do at, like out of the goodness of my own heart um, like I've never done it before but I do know of somebody that has done it before I do know of a friend that has done it before you know and it is a safe procedure um so as i said before if you're interested in me making a full video of this do comment down in the comment section below 
Money making idea number 22 is to stock products and sell them. Now, this one is like kind of really obvious, guys, right? But that you can get things off of places like Shein, right? Because, guys, um, there's nobody that really wants to order one thing, right? Because, like, obviously you have to pay, like, for the shipping things. So if you buy, like, a whole bunch of them, um, especially, like, things like home items, because people, like, have not yet woken up to how beautiful the items off of Shein, especially in the home deco department, are. They're, like, really nice, and they're not things that you can just find, like, in store. So you can stock those and then sell them. Number 24 is to do a little kiddies event company things that like host play groups, right? And for those of y'all guys like um, that don't know, like the benefits of play groups obviously is obviously for children to meet different kinds of children, you know, and you just kind of have like a, a, um, a very controlled um, educational experience for the kids right while they play together and parents are willing to play to pay quite a lot of money for this I have seen off of Instagram that there is this lady that has got kiddies events right and take and takes children on different excursions as groups right um, and like engages in different kinds of activities with them so this is something that is very really interesting and something that is not done a lot but people are willing to pay for it the 24th money making idea is to create content and content create there is a lot of money to be made off of content creation and you can make money off TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, the list goes on and on and on. Um, there are a whole lot of tutorials here on YouTube that teach you how to make money off of content creation and it's even something, um, there's something new in the market called being a, uh, a UGC content creation and UGC stands for user generated content and this more you're creating the, um, the content for the brands, right? And instead of showing like your face and stuff, you're just interacting with that particular brand. Uh, and there's all, also a whole lot of um, content here on YouTube that talks about becoming a UGC content creator. Once again, guys, we have come to the end of the video. And if you feel like this video has um, given you a whole lot of information and added some kind of value into your life, please do click on the like button as it's good for the YouTube algorithm. And please do like, share, comment. And if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Up until next time. Bye.